I don't know, am I crazy? Or are the Ducks and Yotes becoming one of the most underrated rivalries in the NHL? But every time these teams meet, there seems to be some beef. This game was a little calmer than the last couple of games, but these teams really seem to hate each other. And with 54 combined hits in an early season game, there is definitely no love lost between these teams. It was physical the whole game, with scrums after most whistles and a fight to boot. If you can call this a fight, it seemed like they were teaching each other to dance. Once again, this was mostly an evenly played game 5-on-5. Five five. The only problem is the Ducks spent a lot of time in the game on the PK. They gave the Yotes 5 tries on the power play, and the Yotes scored on 1. And it was basically 6, since the Yotes scored again on a delayed penalty goal. But hey, at least that second goal didn't count against the PK percentage. The Ducks would have to try to come from behind the whole game. And that's hard to do when ticky-tack plays are being called on you, thanks to the diving Yotes. Like seriously, they should have had a gold medal for diving in this one. But hey, the Ducks would eventually get their own power play goal, the first of the season on a rush by Henrique to Silverberg, then to Fetrano for the goal, who now leads the Ducks with four goals. Beautiful sauce by Rico the Sylph, who sends over a beauty of a pass himself to Vetrano, who elevates it and scores. Not really the typical power play, no setup, just on the rush, but still, it's good to get the first one out of the way. The Ducks couldn't complete the comeback as Vigmeca and the Yotes held on to win 2-1, in their nice arena. Right, Zegris? <laughs> it's great. There were some positives from the game. The power play looked a lot better, and I'm not just saying that because they got a goal. The top PP unit was great with lots, and I mean lots, of grade A scoring chances. They did really well to keep the puck in the offensive zone, but they just couldn't capitalize on it, barely missing the net loads of times, or it was just a great save by Vichmeka, who is in God mode today. The top line looked even better. Still don't know how they didn't score. Just look at the goals expected. When their timing clicks, the league better watch out. Dosti was also very good today. He didn't steal the game, obviously, but on that late second period and early third period penalty kills, Arizona got a lot of good looks and he was up to the task. You need goalies to make those saves to give the team a chance this year. Honestly, this was a really frustrating game to watch. Just like I have said in every recap video so far, the effort is there, but they just lack the discipline. Also, the refs were pretty atrocious today, and honestly, I felt like the refs in general had been very ticky-tack with the Ducks, but at the end of the day, the Ducks are shooting themselves in the foot, felt like they could have won almost every game so far this season, and that's something I definitely couldn't have said last year. It's a process right now, and the process is getting better. Their 5-on-5 game is very much improved compared to last year. Defensive coverage, passing, transition play, and even the offense looks better even if the goals aren't coming right now. This is a rebuilding year, and that can't be stressed enough. So long as the kids are taking the next step in their development, and we are seeing improvement, we should be happy. Not much rest for the Ducks as they host the Boston Bruins tomorrow at Ponda at 5 p.m. This will be another tough test for this team. But that will do it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe as we are trying to overtake the Ducks' official YouTube channel this season. But as always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and go Ducks!